and you get NaCl and H2O as the byproducts. So you have to remember the reagents halogenoalkane and ethanolic NaOH. Now the reason why this ethanolic is very important. So let me tell you what ethanolic means. Ethanolic means that NaOH is dissolved in ethanol. So this time NaOH is not in an aqueous solution. Uh, aqueous solutions are which in, are, are, are the ones in which the substance is dissolved in water and ethanolic so solutions are the one in which the substance is dissolved in ethanol. So in this case NaOH is not dissolved in water so it's not an aqueous solution. It is dissolved in ethanol and that's why it's called ethanolic NaOH. Now so you have to remember this condition because uh, as we will see further the moment you change this ethanolic to aqueous a, 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 a very different reaction takes place. So not elimination in that case, a substitution reaction takes place. So don't worry about that. We will be, we will be looking at that uh, further in the presentation. But for now, everything that you need to know is that for elimination reaction, we will, uh, reactions you always use ethanolic NaOH and, uh, and the main product is the alkene. From the halogenoalkane, we get the alkene. So let's say we have uh, 2 chloropropene so 2 chloropropene will be in uh, the uh, will be where uh, cl the chlorine atom is attached to the second carbon atom in propane so this will, this is 2 chloropro 2 chloropropane so 2 chloropropane we have here now if elimination takes place we get this because I'm um, sorry about that the chlorine is eliminated and a hydrogen from the adjacent carbon atom uh, I keep picking the upper dash actually has to be down below just to show to you that is the chlorine that is being eliminated from here and we get this CH3 remains the same now you must be thinking okay well, if this is the case, then why is there no elimination from the other CS3 group? Like there is an elimination from this one, but there is no elimination from this one. And this is also an adjacent carbon atom. Well, if you do the elimination on the other one instead of this CS3 group, if you do it on this one, you will get we get this sub this molecule now if you look at both these molecules they are the same propene so both of them are propene so it doesn't matter where you do the elimination because in any case you are getting the same molecule now if for example we have but 2 in so i am going i i am going to take the example of but 2 in because that that is very important over here so not butene sorry we will take 2 chlorobutane butene will be the product but um, we will take 2 chlorobutane so you can see this is 2 chlorobutane now if it undergoes elimination reaction if you see there is a carbon adjacent carbon over here and there is an adjacent carbon over here so actually elimination can take place on both carbon atoms separately in in some cases on one carbon atom and in the other cases on the other car carbon atom so you will get either this molecule or you can get this molecule So you can get you get a mixture of butene and butanoin because elimination can take place on this carbon atom or on this carbon atom. So when you carry out an elimination reaction with such type of a molecule, then you can get a mixture of products in that case because elimination can take place anywhere. Now in the mixture you will also have cis butanoin, which is this one. and transbutuene because you can see you know that stereoisomers can be formed as well so you can have cisbutuene and transbutuene so in that case this is transbutuene geometric isomerism now 
So you, so you can see that in total you can get a mixture of three different molecules.